<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Watching me from uh, from the planet Earth. How are you all doing? So this is a very quick video. I'm sorry, I have to do it while driving. This is the time I have now. Um, there has been, um, I mean. You are all aware that um, Lawyer Ogula not died yes, two days ago, but the news was broken to everybody yesterday. And uh, there have been a lot of reactions. People have been mourning him from all over the world. Those that have come in contact with him. I mean, I got to know him because of Richard's case. And I must tell you, I mean, like I've always been saying on the program, he was a very fantastic lawyer, a lawyer par excellence, a forthright man. Truth. I'm sorry, maybe because I'm driving, the internet is long tracing. Just bear with me. Always fighting for the oppressed. And uh, I mean, during Richard's, uh, during the time that he handled Richard's case, I mean, He's a lawyer that you can uh, employ and then you go to sleep, knowing that he will do the right thing. He loves justice. He's a voice for the voiceless. I mean, if Nigeria has a bunch of people like uh, Ugulano, that country will be better. Trust me, you know I don't lie. Yeah. Fearless. I mean, there were times that even Richard will become timid or anything. He will pump confidence into him. I mean, he's not just a lawyer. He became like a father to Richard, counselor, and much more. Much more. I mean, Nigeria has really lost a great man. Anyway, why I'm here today is because uh, of some reactions that we've been, re we've been receiving from MFM members, at least for me, and for Richard as well. And uh, I begin to wonder, you know, I keep telling you that MFM is not a church. This father confirms it. And by the grace of God, that place will be shut down. I mean, it's high time that place needs, I mean, it's completely shut down. And I'm saying that with all my mind, with my full chest, as you say it's in Nigeria. I mean, how can you be mocking somebody's death? Some of them have come to my inbox, even on, even on the public comment section, under the post that I put, he came there and was talking rubbish, a young guy. Mocking and shading with somebody in your grandfather's age is dead. <laughs> and all of you have been saying the God of Olukoya fought for him. So your God kills people? Is that what you're saying? Who told you it's the God of Olukoya that killed uh, that killed Ogulano? Did Ogulano have anything? Did he have anything to do with uh, uh, Olukoya? He was just doing his job. Did you see him coming out to expose what is going on in MFM? Even though through Richard, he got to know some of those things. A lot. A lot of the Even at that, he didn't even come online to say anything about your so-called geo or whatever. And he died. All you could come and do that is to come out and be saying the God of touch not my anointed. I even saw one of you that posted a song and said touch not my anointed. Even one, one of you that I know when the dad died. The dad didn't even reach Ogulano's age before he died. A pastor in MFM. So is it because uh, he, so he spoke against uh, MFM that the pastor died? How about all the people that have been dying in MFM? Church? How many of Olukoya's lawyers have died in the past? Because me, and it's so for, unfortunate that a lot of people that Olukoya is using to do these things, they are youths. She won't walk for Lonnie Lonnie. And they shall not want be. I mean, what's wrong with you? So look like he has not lost any of his lawyers in the past. Even female, I remember one of his lawyers, a female lawyer that died mysteriously right under your nose there in MFM. And before he died, we knew that she was crying, shouting that MFM killed her, according to what we were told. So those ones, what killed them? How dare you? Why do you people rejoice in people's death? That is why your judge, if people offend you, the next is father and die. They should die. Everything about now we understand better. Because your Baba too, your general overseer gives instruction for people to be killed. No wonder all your prayers are about people dying. When people offend you, the next thing you want them to die. That's why Uncle could come out, take a Bible, 
and be causing my enemy that should die, my enemy will be in a pool of blood like Jezebel. Is that a church? How dare you? What a Gula no achieved in his life? Your father in the Lord, Olukoya, can never achieve it till he dies because Olukoya oppresses people. Olukoya puts people in prison. But Ogula no delivers the oppressed. He fights for them. That's the word thing. He lived a good life. What life has Olukoya lived with all his age? How old is Olukoya now? Maybe he's 68 or not. Do you know how many people your father in the Lord has caused to cry? Only God knows how many have died in his hands. Do you know how about Femi Jimo? How about Kelebo alone to tell her, alone tell her, tell her? You see the way they are crying? The way your father will look at your oppressed then? Ogulano came and lived a good life, fighting for the oppressed. How did he come to meet Richard? Is it not because Richard is being oppressed by your useless coven that made Ogulano to come to know about MFM? So why are you rejoicing that he died? He lived a good life. He's been celebrated. Let's see when Olukoya goes. What the world we say about him? And they are coming when say they are waiting for my tongue. For my tongue? What's wrong with you? So Ogula not died because he fought for Richard. Does it make sense to you? How many of Olukoya's lawyers have died in the past? In one of his lawyers even died last year. I told you a female lawyer died mysteriously. Olukoya's lawyers, lawyer, MFM lawyer, you don't know her? So why are you rejoicing that Gula no died at 60? Titi Baba Yim Afiku Shone Shei Koto Gula no Sheni. What good will be smoking about Olukoya when he's no more? Look at how the whole world is praising Ogula no. He fought for the oppressed. For those who don't even have money, he will take up their cases and fight. That's what God is interested in. But your daddy puts them, your father puts them in prison. Ogula no takes them out of prison. Ogula no lives a celebrated life. He lived, I mean, he lived a good life. Well celebrated. And you don't care, Lord Joseph, you can't for what you and Bosita. You don't fight with a man of God. Who is the man of God? You can't look like a man of God. What kind of bewitchment is troubling you people? What's wrong with you? And stop shading Richard. God will take care of Richard. Ogulayo is in a better place, resting. And God is still alive. He will take it. He will fight for Richard. Why are you rejoicing? Even when one on field that came out sometimes ago, I was talking about me lying against me, mentioning my name online. About three weeks later, so he died. A lot of you were saying because he spoke against me. That was why uh, God took him away. No, I mourned that guy. Even after his death, I fought for him. That's why the fact that he came out to speak against me and said a lot of things about me, defaming me when I didn't even mention the name of your church. But when he died, the death pained me. I looked at the wife and the young girl, girl the daughter, uh, son that he led. It paint me. I fought for him, even on my show. I mourned him. That was somebody that came out from your church. That look what you are pushed out to start saying false narratives about me. I mourned his death. I fought for him even after death. But look what you are going to that you are coming out to say to celebrate what which you anointed. You call look what you are an anointed man of God. Your brain must be checked. Those of you that do, you need to go and check your brain and PC your parents. What's wrong with you? Ah, has got to deliver you from this bewitchment because this is not ordinary. You are saying Ogula not that is the God of Oluka that fought for, for him. For Olukoya, which God? So Olukoya's lawyers have been dying. Who, what, what did they do? Did they speak against Olukoya before they died? Do you know how many young people died? Even in that choir that I was. How old was Dr. Robert when he died? Under your nose there. Under Olukoya's anointing. He died mysteriously in your church. A lot of young people have How old was Bright? Bright was defending her PhD. She died just like that suddenly. How many young untimely deaths in your church? You should be ashamed of yourself right from your top, Olukoya. You people should go and hide your, your faces in shame. You are shading with all your Ogulano's death. Lenuyi. What Ogulano achieved, you can never achieve it in your church. Not even Olukoya. Not his wife. You are precious. And you are And you are Rejoicing in somebody's death. And you call that one a church?
By the days of God, that place will be a thing of the past. That MFM, it's a coven, it's not a church. Why are you, you just over somebody's death? And you are going to share, you will just say uh, something, taunting him, threatening him, harassing him. Who told you God will not fight for Richard? Let's wait, maybe we are all here, except God is not God. Bunch of bewitched hypocrites. The God has mercy on all of you. I'm waiting for you. I will just expose you. I will post your thing and show it to the world. Can you ever achieve what Ogulan has achieved in his lifetime? Ogulan died fighting for the oppressed, which God loves. Olukoya is on the pulpit oppressing people, putting innocent people inside prison, setting them up for death, for imprisonment. You should go and hide your faces in shame. Olukoya carries the title of a man of God, yet he's working for the devil, doing the devil's business. You see a man that has died gloriously and you are coming out to shade, to, to mock his death, say because he touched the anointed. Which anointed? You call Olukoya anointed? Olukoya was doing his job as usual, fighting for the oppressed and he fought for Richard. Did you see him coming out to talk about your, your useless church? Your demonic gatherings? And you drop by your ye. Thank everybody. Please don't mind there. A lot of guys are becoming. Ogula, I don't have the details of his death. He might have an underlying illness. Who, who knows? People die. Oh, yeah, come when you just finish singing and just died. Anything can happen. So why are you saying because he, he touched the anointed? Which anointed did he touch? Chop up my lawyer. How many of Olukoya's lawyers have died? Under your nose there. How many youths have died? Under your nose in your church. What killed them? Thank you, everybody. Please. <clears throat> Please, the... The lawyer I over the, the, the something the case still continues. And you may say me more like Bolu Koya, like Bolu Chadi lost his court. Thank Puromo using up to set him up, lying against him. He 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 wanted to to kill a minor. He committed felony. Just coming with useless useless criminal charges. I don't wonder what church does that. Your church comes up with serious various lies to set people up for prison. That's how Gulano came in contact with Richard because he's always fighting for the oppressed. He lived a good life. What kind of life is Olukoya living? Your father in the Lord that is busy fingering, sexually assaulting women, girls, young girls. You guys are not even ashamed of yourself. So your own God kills people. No wonder your prayer is about die, die, die. You bunch of murderers. Thank you, everybody. Please keep praying for Richard. Keep praying for every one of us. That is the control. We are not shaking. God is alive. He lives forevermore. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. God bless you all. I'm which way I'm going. I just said, let me do this right there because if I enter now, I can't do anything and I know you're about to sleep in Nigeria. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>